Don't try this at home, kids. Or if you do, make sure you're alone. <laughs> wanted something so bad just so bad it was something you dreamed of ever since you were a little kid but you're always told you couldn't do it you felt like no matter how hard you tried the universe just wasn't gonna give it to you I'm here to show you today guys that even though life gets hard and it feels like nobody wants to help you it feels like the universe isn't gonna help you you can still do it guys I mean look at my wrist this isn't where I want to be but I'm gonna push through it and now that I've taken two weeks off or three weeks off since I broke my wrist, I still gotta perform in a show with a broken wrist. Guys, if you haven't liked or subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Get over there, like the page, subscribe, so you can keep going on with all these crazy adventures. All right guys, it's mail time. I actually already opened it, so I already know what it is. Let's pretend it didn't. That tape looked like it actually belongs there. Oh, magic, look at that. Okay, we're good. What do we got? Look at that. Fan letter. Pick ticket. What we got here is a all sports dynamic wrist brace, so we'll just uh, figure this. No. Oops. Oh, that's the wrong wrist. Snug. Pull that. This I'm guessing just wraps around. Two hours later. Oh, you can see that? There it is. And this thing is shell shaped, so I'm assuming under here, like this. There, like that. Boom! Look at that. Articulating, but it won't let my wrist. Go past that. And I guess that is 20%. I got a call from one of my heroes. His name's Cody Elkins. So cool. So I got a call from him last week. He wants to know if he can use one of my four wheels. And it just happens to be the next day right after my show. I'm gonna go perform for four days in Salt Lake, Orem, something like that, anyway, in Utah. And then right after, I gotta load everything up and take it straight over to the Oregon coast. And Cody's gonna do a show there using my quad and my ramp. But my quad's gonna take a little work. Normally I use this as my practice quad. This is what I was on when I broke my wrist. As you can see, the only thing wrong with it really is that one little rod. I just haven't had any money come in to fix it yet. Stinks. All right, so if you guys have ever wondered how to set up a freestyle quad, which I'm sure you have all wondered, who doesn't think about riding freestyle quads? If you guys want to know how to do that, or if you guys want me to do a video on how to put this uh, freestyle quad together, let me know in the comments below and I can help you guys out make a video especially for that, a tutorial for freestyle quads. Got that front, those front fenders cut off. Still a little rough because plastic, when it gets hot, it melts and makes all these weird edges. 
All right, guys, it's getting late. I still gotta edit this thing, but all done for tonight. Nerf bars, suspension, bars, exhaust, fuel programmer, all of it. Even cut those front plastics, making it look cooler, right? Awesome. If you guys like it, comment below. Tell me if you liked it before or after I cut the fenders. Here's another quick clip of it. Tell me what you think looks better. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it took so long. I hope you really enjoyed it. And this might be a little slow, but guys, we're going to start picking up pace. I'm going to start riding this week. Uh, that's going to be pretty intense. And then the shows and everything, you guys are going to see behind the scenes. So make sure you subscribe and follow because it's going to get epic. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace.